Hey, this is Dot Too Fast here, and in this video, I'll be installing HID bulb into my headlight. And what you're looking at here is the ballast on the left. These are 35 watt ballast, and this is what it looks like. So the power source goes in here, and then the output will go to the bulb. And over here on the right, these are the xenon bulbs, and the one I ordered is 5,000 Kelvin in color temperature, and the socket is 9006. That will fit into my vehicle. And I will be using a relay harness, you see right here, that will just uh, allow uh, sufficient current to power up the ballast. So just in case if your factory harness does not have enough current to power these up. Because on startup, these draw about 6 to 7 amp, and then it stabilizes, it drops down to about 3 amps. And this relay harness here will allow sufficient current for the ballast. So I've kind of laid out the uh, relay harness and the ballast and the HRD bulb. Now I'll go over what are all the connections. So of course this is the relay. And then this red wire here with the fuse, that will go to the battery terminal, constant 12 volt. Over here, this socket will plug into your factory uh, harness for the headlight. So whenever you turn on the headlight, it will energize the relay, it will send power to this wire here and this socket will plug into the ballast to provide power and then the output of the ballast will connect to your HID bulb and same thing from the relay there's a longer wire that goes out this way and all the way out to this connector this connector has one side is ground you just have to tie this to chassis ground and then this will plug into your ballast here and then from the ballast, you connect the output to the HID bulb, which is this plug here that goes out to the HID bulb. So this is pretty much the entire wiring that you'll need to do for the HID. In the engine compartment, I'll be putting the relay on the driver's side next to the air box here. And of course the 12 volt, there is a nut here, just unscrew that and you mount the constant 12 volt onto here and then over here on the side fender you see those two bolts right there that will be used to mount the ground so here's the relay and the fuse is right here this is the plug that I'll plug into the factory wire to get the 12 volt from the headlight and here is the connector that will go to the ballast and this is going to be the wire that runs over to the passenger side. And I've also tapped the ground over here and connected the 12 volt from the relay harness. Here you see the wire, just route it underneath the uh, intake and follow the um, radiator fan wire. And we'll just run it along here all the way to the passenger side. Tidy up the wire, get some tie wraps, and just tie it up to the existing factory wire so it won't be loose and you don't want the wire to hit the fan back here. So just go along this entire harness. After running the wire to the passenger side, I've connected the ground to the grounding bolt that's over here. And then now I'm going to plug in the ballast and this connector just plugs right in here, like that. So to mount the ballast, instead of drilling any holes, I'm just going to put a 3M double sided tape right here. I'm going to place it right in this corner here. Out of the way. Won't interfere with anything. On the driver's side, same thing. We'll go ahead and plug the ballast. And uh, place a piece of 3M double sided tape here. And we'll mount it right over here. Before I install these HID bulb into the housing, I want to take a moment to talk about you know fitting these type of HID xenon bulb into a reflector type of uh, headlight like I have here. Now, this is not the first HID uh, bulb I fit into a car. I've had another set before, and I can tell you that it does produce a lot of glare. And the glare really comes from actually the bottom part of the reflector when the xenon light hits that bottom part so bright it shoots it, it bounces it upward 
so that the oncoming traffic looking at it, that's where you get the glare. For this install, I will do something a little different. I will actually custom make a anti-glare shield or some people call it a Casper shield to reduce the glare coming out of these HID. Now I will emphasize the word reduce. Um, it's still not ideal uh, but the thing is that having these fitted into the reflector housing um, you really want to minimize as much of the glare as you can so you don't blind oncoming traffic. So in the next video, I will show you how I am going to custom make a anti-glare shield that I'll fit over the bulb here and complete the installation. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And if you like the video, please subscribe. Thank you.